hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for the love today i'll be showing you how i made the bottom part of this ball gown i used crinoline line and two please do well to subscribe turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video let's get into the video what i have here is 25 yards of crinoline. i have 10 yards of two here so let me open it I think it's 10 yards by 60 inches but you can see like it's folded if you count it this is three yards this is four this is six this is eight and this is ten so from here now from this point here i'm going to measure 15 inches So guys, I've cut out 15 inches, that will be for the first layer, and then the second layer, I'll be using 13 inches. And I'm going to cut it out. So now this is what I have, this is the first layer, this is the second layer. And I'm just going to leave this one. This one is about 8 inches. I'm going to leave it as the third layer. So it's going to be like this. So now, I'm not going to use everything. I'm going to use 5, 5 yards. Because what I have here is 10, 10 yards. So now I'm going to open this one. And I'm going to take only 5 yards. So I'm just counting it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So I'll cut it. So I'm going to keep the other five yards aside. So guys, I'm done cutting what I need. This is the first layer. This is the second and this is the third of five, five yards each. The first layer I cut out 15. The second I cut out 12. And this one is like eight inches. So I'm going to insert the crinoline. So now I'm going to start putting, attaching the crinoline. So guys, this is how I'm going to be attaching my crinoline to the tool. This is my tool. And this is my crinoline. So I'm just going to place it on top. So I'm going to start sewing it. Just so you don't have to drag it, don't drag your crinoline. limb. So now I'm done sewing that side, you're just going to take it, see, oh, we sewed it like so, now I'm just going to take it and bend it, just bend it like so, and top stitch. So this is how you attach your crinoline. So now this is the first layer and the waist I'm working with is um, 22 inches. I'm going to gather these two to be 24 inches. 
I'm gonna go ahead now and start gathering it. So once I'm done doing the gather stitch, I'm just going to pull it. Once I pull it, it's going to form gathers. And this way you can adjust it to be exactly the waist measurement that you want. So guys, I'm done gathering it and putting the cranial line on all the steps so this is it let me just arrange it the way i'm going to arrange it remember the waist is 24 for step so to place it on top of the lining now i'm going to take the second step and i'm going to place it on top two and then the third step So this is it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and press them on top like so. Just go ahead and stitch here on the third one. The three of them. You can choose to press the three first. After pressing it, you come back and press it on top of the lining. So let me go ahead and press them. Just on top of the lining. Same place, same spot. Like so. Press this one on top, press one on top, and the third one on top of it. So guys, I'm done attaching it like you can see. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please drop your comments in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.